In course 41, we saw an example of an application of block modeling, and we will explain now the general approach of block modeling using different levels of equivalence. Equivalence notion uh, was introduced in the course 3A part 2. It is needed here to deep how equivalence and specifically structural equivalence is measured. The overall principle of the method is to start from the socio matrix, as the example here, with the corresponding graph. Rules, thanks to a permutation of rows and colon, one can associate nodes sending or receiving similarly to other nodes. Matrices classifying position by blocks or similar networking are useful ways to summarize some kinds of ties between positions. When builds an image matrix about multi-relational network between positions rather than information about individual actors, and then we obtain a reduced graph between the different positions. This approach was introduced in the 70s in sociology by Harrison White and his colleagues, and it was formalized later by Hollande and his colleagues. Bird introduced the Euclidean distance to measure the uh, structural equivalence between two nodes, I and J. It depends on their own relation with every other k node of the graph, making the sum of the two directions here, a or g to k, or k to i and g. The maximum possible value corresponds to the total opposition between nodes i and j relations. The minimum occurs when they are structurally equivalent. At the same moment, White et al. proposed a form of Pearson correlation between nodes relation. This index standardizes all the calculation but the mean value in row here and in colon here. This can be done for one network, uh, so one kind of relation or several kind of relation for multiple networks. The measure was also developed for regular equivalence. It is this measure that was used in the example we saw. In, in the example um, we, we saw in the first part of this course on world city networks. I recall that regular equivalence is the less restrictive measure of equivalence. It is sufficient that each member of a block has at least a link to nodes of the other block to assign one between two blocks. It is the case for B2 to B3 here. To measure regular equivalence, White and Heights propose the RIG um, algorithm, which is an iterative procedure estimating the degree of regular equivalence between pairs of actor I and G with adjustment in light of the equivalence of the adjacent nodes to and from members of the pair, here K and M. The numerator here corresponds to how I ties um, to and from K actors can match with J ties uh, to and from M actors. The denominator corresponds to the maximum possible value of the numerator when ties of I and J match perfectly and all adjacent nodes are, are also regular equivalent. This index range from 0 to 1. It is an iterative model necessitating different iterations this is why they indicate t and t plus 1. But in general, according to Catherine Faust, three iterations are sufficient. Using this correlation, white et al. 
develop the procedure named CONCOR for convergence of iterated correlations. It is also repeated iteratively correlation between rows and columns of previous correlations, result of only correlation of plus one and or minus ones, except of on some unusual circumstances are taken into account, and according to this proximity, we can start the partitioning. We can note that geographers also use permutation of rules and columns, like Bertin in 1967, who used it in order to classify the 80 Parisian quarters and their socio-economic population compositions. So here we have the 80 uh, quarters and the distribution of population by socio-economic uh, factors. And uh, Bertin made the permutation of rules, the permutation of columns, in order to obtain some quite homogeneous groups of quarters making this map. But in the case of geography, a multivariate analysis were then adopted by many geographers in the 70s to solve the classification issues. So geographers mostly abandoned this approach. Rather, uh, in sociology, using mainly dichotomous relation with zero and one, they focused more on some more analytical approach and they continued to develop block models.